What's the number one mistake guys make in a relationship? Next question. Cheat. Why did you and your ex break up? Oh, damn. We're getting deep. Um, That's what we do. Well, 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 he didn't cheat. I'll tell you that. Um, he got with a good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back. Oh my God. You know my ex? That's crazy. I like your eyebrows. So, what's the truth behind their breakup? I mean, look, Miko was a good boy. He was, he was good. really nice. He it was a good didn't boy. It just didn't work it didn't out. It didn't work out. Respect, respect. All I'm gonna say, bitch ain't shit. The hoes and tricks. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Recipe. First of all, hi. I crave connection, but I am not entertaining men for the sake of having notifications. I know what it's like to be desired by men. I don't know what it's like to be valued by one. When people ask me, why hasn't it worked out with anyone? Well, because I've never valued myself. I've been running from myself for a really long time. And I'm no longer drinking it away, eating it away, sleeping it away, fucking it away. I'm sitting with my shit. I was entertaining conversations with men I knew I would never take seriously because I felt like it validated me. Single, I'm alone, but I'm not really. I have people on my phone but I never needed anything outside of me to validate me. But until you're ready to get that honest with yourself, you'll keep looping back until you do something different. You're really only holding yourself back and prolonging the inevitable, which is you having these difficult conversations with yourself. You don't believe in love, you're desperate, you don't think you can do any better. Ultimately, you feel like it's what you deserve. Anything you attract from a disempowered state won't last. That's a feel good life quote. And you deserve all the things that you deeply desire. But your actions have to align with your beliefs. Ask the ladies to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10. I'm at a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Bro. <laughs> like, um, a 10, I'm a 10. You're a 10? A 10. I'd say like eight, maybe, I don't know. Because they're selling yourself short. Yeah, I'd probably say like nine. I feel like I'm just like some average blonde. I don't know. Wait, like, nine? Yeah, well. Average blonde, just like but nine. Yeah, well, all blondes are like really pretty. Like, I think that like everybody should dye their hair blonde. I don't know. I just like for the summer. I I'm too grown for a boyfriend. I'm looking for a husband. I want a husband. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need another boyfriend. And I don't need to be anybody's girlfriend. I'm a wife. Give me my ring. I just want to go straight from Raya to wedding. I'm going to say something raw, the controversial. And I know a lot of my friends are not going to agree with me on this, but I think feminism is going backwards. No, I don't think the song WAP is female empowerment. I don't think posting a picture of your ass on social media is female empowerment. Supporting all women just because they're women is not female empowerment. I don't like this. Some of my friends are like, go off queen to complete assholes just because they're women assholes instead of men assholes. It's not a cute look. The definition of feminism is equality. And we are not treating ourselves equal as women if we are objectifying ourselves before other people or men can objectify us. We are literally reverting back to what all the women before us worked so hard to get away from, which is being objectified for the way we look. But now we're leveraging that to personally gain from it? It's back. I have a question. So a guy, he was showing interest the whole night and he bought me a drink. I was like, okay, cool. Never said anything. Why do guys do this? Why y'all buy a drink? Why y'all show interest and then don't say anything? Don't ask for the number. What does that mean? Do you think, do you think I, okay, minus the band, do you think that I'm like pretty attractive? Mm. No, don't. Do I think you're attractive? Yes, yeah, stop. I think you're okay looking. No, okay, well then we're good. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're good. Well, just because I'm honest? No, yeah, no, I, I appreciate I'm, I'm pretty it. sure this guy would say you're like a, hey, man, what were you, Raider? Stop, no. no I'll give you a good 10. Yeah, okay, there yeah. you go. Do a sip! I can't support that. I can't. Uh, I, can, I can't support that. <sighs> had I married or had kids with anybody I dated, 
I probably would be miserable. So I talked about this before. Men on podcasts love to sell this fear mongering tactic to young girls in their 20s about settling down and getting married. But what they don't talk about is what that husband going to look like once you get married to him. Because we love to talk about how women got a prime and how they're going to look good for a certain period. But we don't ever like to discuss how bad men be falling off. Like, let's keep it real. How many of y'all homeboys really look like he looked when he was in college? He don't. He absolutely don't. He don't look nothing like he did when he was in high school or college. <laughs> a absolutely not. Hairline didn't make it to 30. Body didn't make it to 30. Face didn't make it to 30. He looks like a completely different man. But this is what they want you to settle down with. They want you to settle down with this dude who ain't going to look nothing like he used to look when he was in his 20s with you. And then you'll be somewhere stuck, right? Now you ain't even sexually attracted to him. He don't even act like he used to act. He don't look like he used to look. This is the lies that they want to sell you. Or you can opt out and get the older dude who older than you and going to be even older as you getting older. And next thing you know it, you nursing him, right? That, that's what that, that's the reality of that. Now he, he, he come with liver problems from all of the drinking that he did when he was your age. And now you got to take him to dialysis. Thanks to social media, within a click, you can see the people that you used to know, right? And there ain't no man that I ever dated when I was in my 20s that I wish that I had ended up with. When I see how they look, they don't look anything like they look when I talk to them. I don't even know those men. <laughs> can't recognize them in the lineup they look like completely different men they let they self go i don't want them a lot of these men are now married or maybe in serious relationships and i can see you know the type of lifestyle that they live in with their girl and i don't want that wouldn't have wanted that we would have obviously grown apart because i wouldn't have been willing to live that lifestyle with them so i wouldn't take anything back <laughs> I wouldn't take anything back. And again, this ain't no shade to those men because, you know, it is what it is. But I'm just glad that it didn't work out or we didn't go no further than we did because those were temporary situations and I'm glad I didn't end up in no permanent position with them. In my opinion, your 20s, whether or not you're a man or a woman, should be for building, enjoying yourself, having your fun, getting everything out your system that you want to, and just really getting to know yourself. That way, when you get older, you ain't got no regrets and you can date from a place of what you want versus what you need.